This is an Adobe Illustrator tutorial on making circular designs. I am using Illustrator Creative Cloud or CC on an Apple computer, but the basic technique should work on most versions. I'll go through some methods that use the Shape Builder tool and the Pattern Editor, and to do that you'll probably need Illustrator CS5 or more recent, but the basic technique should work on most versions. And that technique is to take a simple motif, rotate it, and copy it, and then use the transform again command to keep doing it until it's done. So let's go here and so let's start with the transform again command. So if I make a path with a stroke on it like that, and then I get the move tool and I move it over and up a little bit. Then if I go to object, transform, transform again, command D being the keyboard shortcut, you can see that it moves over and up by the same amount again. Now if I do it again, object, transform, transform again, it does it again. It moves over and up by the same amount as the first time I did it. Now if I use the keyboard shortcut, command D, or if I hold it down, away it goes. It keeps happening. So transform again repeats the last move that you just made. Now, if I was to duplicate this path by holding down the Option or Alt button, right, like that, and now I go to Object, Transform, Transform again, you can see that it copies it and moves it over and up slightly by the same amount. And if I hold down Command D, you can see that away it goes. If I pull down a guide from my rulers like this, you can see that even though I didn't move it up very much, it was pretty slight, each time that it duplicates, it goes up just a little bit more and will compound over your duplicates. So if it's important that something you're copying goes in a straight line, just uh, be careful when you do the initial copy. The main thing about using the transform again is that you can't do anything between using the transform again and the move that you want to do again. All right. Okay, now let's look at the rotate tool. So the rotate tool is right here. If you don't see it, it might be hiding behind the reflect tool, but we're using the rotate tool. And so the most basic way of using it is you have your object selected. You just click where you want your pivot point to be, and then you can just drag it around or, or hold on your option button to duplicate it as you rotate it. Or the other way you can do it is to have your path or your artwork selected. You just hit return, and you can see that the pivot point is going to go to the center. And then you can just click on preview to see what it's going to do. And then you can either use this little dial right here for the rotation or put direct entry for the amount you want to rotate it by. And you can click and unclick preview to see what you're doing. And then you have the option of either copying or just going ahead and doing it like that. OK, so the way that we're mostly going to be using is to hold down our option button with the rotate tool. So again, you have your artwork selected, hold down the option button. You'll see that little dot, dot, dot right there next to your cursor. So while holding down the option or the alt button, you click where you want your pivot point, And then you put in the degrees that you want to rotate your object. And then instead of sit saying, OK, we're going to say copy. Now we've rotated and copied our path. So if I was to use transform again, you can see that it continues rotating around the same pivot point. Use the keyboard shortcut, command D, see that it'll complete this kind of a very basic circular pattern. 360 is the number of degrees in a circle. And since we're making circular designs, it makes sense to pick a degree that's gonna go evenly into 360. Okay, so that's the basic technique of rotating and copying a simple motif. So let's, uh, start doing that with another shape. So let's uh, move on to a circle perhaps. So let me draw a circle. I can uh, hold down shift to make sure I draw a perfect circle here. And let me just change the color on that a little bit, something like that. So select the artwork, get your rotate tool, hold down your option button to choose the pivot point. Make sure you have that dot, dot, dot so you can ha get the dialog box like this. Now say copy, then use transform again, command D, to continue copying and rotating around the same pivot point until you've completed your circular design. 
Now this isn't all that interesting like this, but something that's kind of fun to do is to throw a blending mode onto it to add a little visual interest. So I'll just go to my uh, transparency panel up here, opacity, click on the word opacity, and then you can see this drop down where it says normal by default. I can go and I can choose something else like a hard light blending mode and a blending mode, if you're not familiar with them, just affects how objects blend with other objects that uh, they overlap with. So there it is with a little bit of a blending mode on it. And I could also get my circle tool again maybe and uh, let's pick a different color. Maybe something like this. And I can draw a circle from the center by holding down Alt to draw from the center, Shift to make it a perfect circle. Pull it out a little like that. Then with it still selected, I can right click on it and just say, go to arrange and say, send it back. And you can see that I've made a very simple circular design. Let's try this again here. I'll grab one of these and I'll just hold down option or alt to duplicate it like that. Uh, still has that same blending mode on it. And I will just select it, get my rotate tool, hold down my option button to get the dot 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 on my cursor, which will allow me to click where I want the pivot point, get the dialog box. I'll choose 90 degrees for this little uh, exercise and I'll say copy. Then I will use transform again, command D to complete that. So I got four of them. Then I'll select all four of those circles, get my rotate tool again, hold down option, click right here at the top, rotate it all 90 degrees again, say copy, and then transform again, command D to complete it like that. There we go. So now I'm gonna use the shape builder tool to uh, trim this out. So you can see that sort of started turning to a pattern there. But what I want is just the center. So I've selected it all. Now with the shape builder tool, it will build new shapes by default based on the way they overlap. But if you hold down your option button, it will take away shapes based on the way they overlap. Or I can just click and drag a line like this to trim out multiple pieces at once. All right, so there's another design based on that same circle. Okay, so now I'm just going to go through a few more circular designs that I recorded in high speed and just uh, narrate what's going on. So for this one, I'm just going to make a square uh, using the rectangle tool. So hold down shift to constrain proportions, rotate it 45 degrees, uh, then uh, rotate and copy it 24 degrees, and then use rotate again to continue rotating copying it around until you've got a circular design then select it all and put a blending mode which i can do up here like we did before or you can also do it from the appearance panel so that's where i'm doing it here uh, i'm a big fan of the appearance panel so use it to so try a couple different blending modes on it and all right so that's just taking a basic square and rotating it around and putting blending modes on it. Now I'm gonna make another square, rotate it also by 45 degrees, but this time I'm just gonna make a diamond. So I'll get my direct selection tool or my white arrow and I'll just pull down the top and bottom points till I've got a diamond. And then I'll just, uh, I'll make a little smaller and then I'll rotate this around giving a little bit of space between the bottom of it and my pivot point. Try a couple of different degrees and I'll click and unclick preview to till I get one that I like. So I'm going to rotate my diamond by 30 degrees. So now I've made this pattern. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to group it all together and I'll rotate that whole group by half of what I did before. So before it was 30 degrees, so now this is going to be 15. And then I'm going to uh, put a blending mode on it. And let me just shrink this down. Whoops, I uh, want to make sure that it all stays together. So I will uh, 
group both these two groups and then I've got that I've got this design. Alright, so now a rounded rectangle. I'm gonna get my skew tool, skew it around, uh, you know, scale it, push it around, make it a little bit different, push it around a little bit, then I'm going to rotate it around, do a little preview, and looks good. So now I will go ahead and uh, rotate and copy it, select it all, and we'll put a blending mode on it. color burn, overlay, yeah, okay, scale it down, all right, okay, so I decided to break this tutorial up into two parts, so this is going to be in a part one, if you want to keep building on this basic technique, keep a lookout for part two, all right, thanks.